Excuse me. Yeah? Who are you? What do you do around here? I used to be a customer. Had a guy I was sweet on. But then I realized if nobody's around to protect the place, then I won't be able to shop here for long. Now I keep the place safe, and in exchange I get to see my guy for free. What is this place? Are you... running a brothel? It's a bar and brothel. Most people come for the sex and stay for the booze. But we're all out on our asses if these saints get their way. Why did the scavengers attack? Because they aren't scavs. They're saints and they're out of control. Raiders, I can handle, but religion? Can't shoot what you can't see. That's all. Can't believe I'm posted outside the wall. Who the heck did I piss off? I think I could get up right now, but you bet your ass I'm gonna try. Hold on. I'd like to have a little chat. Who are you, really? I'm a saint. Just like the men you killed. Don't worry, I'm not here to fight. In fact, I'm on your side. You see, our leader's making this out to be a religious crusade. But the truth is, this is just personal. What do you mean by that? It's an old story. A boy visits a brothel, hoping to become a man. Only this story has a cruel twist. It wasn't a woman waiting behind that door. It was his sister, a girl named Jane. Who are you people exactly? In dark times, men need faith. It gives us hope and the power to change. The problem is, as time goes by, that power can be corrupted. It's not that closing this brothel is a noble cause. If that were the real reason for this war, then I wouldn't be here. You're a hell of a risk taker. I've lived a long time. Death doesn't scare me. Outliving my children does. What is it you want? Well, in the old days, conflicts like this happened on a much larger scale. Sometimes alliances were forged with marriages, others with hostages. I want you to give Q this letter. It outlines the terms of a peace agreement. No setup this time, no tricks. Just looking to trade a little. You know, things are looking up. I can feel it this time. Excuse me. Something I can do for you? I just want to trade a few things. All right, check it out.
Got a minute? Take your time. Tell me about the options. It's a free country. What's on your mind? What would win in a fight? A rad scorpion or a yaoguai? Say what's on your mind. Ever seen that old sailing ship on top of the building in Charleston? Thanks for your help. Well, it sure was nice chatting with you. A lot of people get scared off by the location. But the Diamond City Patrol walks this route every day, and nobody has to pay them. Now you still gotta show some care. Sadie would have my ass if I just strolled down Commonwealth Avenue. No, you gotta take the back alleys, and make sure you aren't hailed. Hi. If you need a drink, try asking Molly downstairs. You might want to check your order, though. I'm not entirely sure she speaks English. Mr. So, Q's teaching me about send the, the world. Back to Today the I learned about speaker. something called I'm your... sorry, boss. It was a stone-cold setup. I should have known it was too good to be true. Which means we're no closer to ending these interruptions of yours. I have something for you. Q so the Saints want to make things. Sometimes, I suppose, though, since their I feel little like ambush his brain didn't work, too. now they want to negotiate. What do you think? Well, the prospect of stopping these attacks makes me weep tears of joy. But ultimately, the decision is yours. Seeing as you'll be the one doing the work, I'll just be paying you to do it. Take the deal. Agreed. Some would use our advantage to try and force a checkmate, when it's far easier to let your opponent concede. Plus, all this talk of war is making me nauseous. Take the girl home, her debt is paid. I have trouble with multiplication tables. Adding and subtracting is easy, though. Mr. Q has me count the bottles when he drinks. <clears throat> I'll stay here and guard the bar. Make sure this isn't another trick. 